Drake Hollow. Character creation! The, the cool, the weird thing about this game is, like, uh, I saw, I, I briefly looked at it, but the character creation is you can choose a lady body or you can choose a male body, and then you can choose your heads how you want to have them. So we're going to hair. Let's say no hair. And then we're going to go to head and then change uh, to something a little more, yeah, me ish. Oh, that, okay, there we go. Wait, no, no, that, no, we'll, we'll go with, we'll go with this one and then we'll do, let's see, I don't go outside ever. Okay, we're not doing that. That looks, uh, there we go. I, I, I'm, and then hair color, oh, you don't have to worry about that. Eyes, uh, I have blue eyes. The blue layer looks okay-ish. Let's go with a little bit darker. There we go. Let's go with hair color. Uh, I, since there is no hair, it shouldn't really matter, should it? Let's see. No, it doesn't. Okay, great. Well, just in case we procure some hair in the game, we'll just uh, we'll just choose something kind of closer. I have like a normally like a a, a, a burger, reddish, orangish tint in my brown hair, brow color, the same thing. Oh my god, I got some bushy eyebrows, don't I? And then there's backpacks too, I believe. Clothing, yeah. There's a clothing tab, so we can choose our shirt too. Okay. Uh, there's a hat. We don't have any hats right now. I guess we get more stuff in the game. Okay, cool. So we have this shirt, we have that shirt, we have this. That's actually not, that looks comfortable. Oh, we might go with that one. And a zipper hoodie. Oh, the zipper. Oh, I'm not wearing a shirt underneath it. That's serious business. Let's go with the white shirt. We have a blue, do we have jeans? We have jeans. We have jeans. Shoes. Oh, should we go with the Converse or the, or, or the boots? I think I'm going to go with the boots. And then we have backpacks to choose from too. No, I think this is the better backpack to choose from right now. Okay, cool. There's our, there's our guy. All right, we're going to, we're going to accept it. Yes, accept changes. New game. Uh, campaign, I guess it is. Okay, checking out the phone. I think we should see. Oh. Okay. It's a scene. Oh. Yeah. Err. Hey, that actually looks pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Serious jumping action there. Okay, I guess we follow the crow. Shift does sprint. We have jump. It's a pretty serious jump, too. I bet you there's going to be some... I've got a different path for you. Wait, what? Was that supposed to... Okay. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Whoa! This way, kid. Okay. All right. I do like the environment. Wise Crow is its name. Hey, kid. Look, I've been sent to find someone. I think you're it. Okay. This door I'm sitting on, I'm gonna need you to walk through it. It's not, it's not strictly speaking a normal spooky door in the woods. Really more of a portal. Some folks on the other side really could really use your help. I can't force you to step through. You got to do that on your own. But I'd appreciate you deciding fast. My brain's getting foggier the longer I'm on this side. Not gonna be able to stick around for much longer. I really like the artwork. Look at the artwork on the on the crow here. I gotta warn you, this could be a one-way trip. No telling when you might get back. It's gonna be dangerous. Hey! I love one-way trips. So you up for an adventure? Step on in. Uh, yes, we'll try it. It doesn't look real, like, portal-like. Oh, cutscene. Okay. So it was a portal. So Tuesday evening, I got, I got a message saying, I think we should see other people. Then the next day, hello, are you there? And it runs out of power. Okay. 
And then we found a spooky crow. And now we're in a spooky place. Okay, okay. Let's check this out. And it doesn't... Wait. Wait, what? Blight shroom. Oh, we can gather. Okay. So there's gathering. So this is a colony sim to do, and then there's base building, there's exploration, there is a couple other types of gameplay styles in this. Oh, you know me, I'm a collectionist. We have a, ooh, ooh. Well, oh, I like how that looks. And there's gonna be a sandbox mode. It's not yet available. Okay, we have a bag. Okay. Decent. Actually, this looks cohesive to the style of the games thus far. When we select this, okay, and then it shows us this. Blighted by the poison soil, blight shrooms can be cleansed with a cleansing cauldron. Satisfies hunger. Uh, we have, oh, we have a tech tree. So unlock with schematics, budget needed, improvement budget, materials needed to make it. And there are how many levels available right now of stuff? All right, there is several. Okay, there's 12 levels of camp level we can get to. And then we have here active quests. Okay, we don't have any quests right now. And then we can change our outfit while we're playing the game. That's kind of nifty. I really like how they did the map. And you can put a marker down too. Okay. Hello, Mr. Crow. Ah, uh, you made it much better. Head was fogging up something awful. No offense, but I hate crossing over. If I'm being honest, I wasn't sure you'd cross. I've been starting to lose hope. Seems like it's on short supply everywhere these days. Welcome to the hollow. Makes me want to play Pro Circle Sub. It's seen better days, I'm afraid. That's kind of why you're here. Follow me. I'll clarify. All right. I do. I like how they, the crow looks. I think the artwork looks really good. And that's like a bridge that's jacked up that has a bus on it and thorns going around it. Oh, how about the rest of the environment? Like that was a church. Or it looks like it or something. Yeah, it's probably a church or something. I don't know. Okay. We're going into a cave hole. There's like a, like a semi post apocalyptic slash like Tim Burton esque nightmare esque type thing going on. With with the, the different type of cell shading type stuff. I brought you here at the request of an old friend, someone from your side of the hedge from way back. Probably best if you just hit, heard from her directly. She left me this note. A note from Sarah. Find someone new. Dear Wise Crow, I think I know how to help you and the Drakes. I need you to find a warrior, strong of will and body, sensitive to animals. Look for them when the hedge is thin. Bring them to finish what I am too frail to accomplish. They must work with the Drakes to build their power and seek out my effects. Hidden from the Terminer? Find them. It's the only way to save the hollow. Yours, Sarah. So here we are. You've got that youthful vigor we need. The hedge was thin, and as evidenced by this here conversation, you got the gift of animal whispering. Okay, I'm an animal whisperer. Come on, I've got something I'd like you to try and some folks I think you should meet. Okay, okay. Oh, so, okay, so the interaction is like that, too. There's an anchor here? Okay, I'm probably supposed to go this way, but... Okay. And there's a boat. Is there anything in the boat? There is not. Let's continue on. Mr. Crow, hello. Oh, he's flying off already. Okay. And we're running down. I, I like uh, it's, you know how most like lower poly games, they have either less than this or more than this as in like uh, uh detail work in the graphics. This is like in between that. It's, it's kind of cool actually. All right. What do you, what do you want? What do you want? Mr. Crow old E to talk. Now that we've had a, a little nature hike, it's time to get to work. I've got a little theory about you. Want to test it out? See if I really did choose the right person for the job. I think there's more to you than you realize. Best see for yourself. That pile of crystals over there? Get up close. Attune your mind on waking them. See what happens. All 
All right, let's check out this crystal stuff here. Oh, cutscene! That's magicalness if I ever saw some. <laughs> he dropped the stick. Okay, crude wobbly stick, 11 DPS, so that is a weapon. Oh, and it has a weapon icon above it, okay. Wobbly stick, press one to select melee weapon, okay. And one brings up, there's the radial menu there, it gives you. So these are bad, are these, are, these are obviously bad guys. Okay. There's different attacks. Yeah, there is. There's combos, actually. Okay. You, you dropped a shard. Oh, and they get, uh, they kind of get disoriented after you kill them. Or after they do their, their combo and miss. Can I grab these? Yes! Bane berries! There's Bane berries, y'all! Oh, snap. I'm used to only having two. All right, let's go over here. Let's go talk to you. You've met our esteemed allies, the Drakes, and vanquished a pack of pesky feral. Not too bad, kids. So that's the Drakes, are the onion, uh, radish, well, onion, carrot, beet looking things. And the ferals are the uh, red and black Sith Lords. Not too bad, kid. The Drakes are, com are a companionable lot Kind souls, unfortunately, they had a rough go. Ain't what they used to be. Invaders, those terminers the note mentioned, made a real mess of things, so they're a little skittish around newcomers when a, with a penchant for brawling. You're going to need to do some legwork to earn their trust. The drakes are plenty hungry and thirsty, hibernating so long. Unfortunately, the land's no good. Everything that comes from the ground is blighted, inedible. You're going to need something to cleanse things for them to eat. You look like the crafty sort, though. Remember that attunement business with the crystals? That right there is your gift. With a little focus, you can let the drakes know what you need built, and they'll hop on it. Okay, okay. Uh, gather up some lumber and build a cleansing cauldron. Check back with me once it's built, and I'll tell you how to use it. Here, take a couple of glowstone shards to get you started. You need them to build the cauldron. Also, take this healing salve. It's the only one I got, but if you're going to be scrapping with those grunts, you're going to need it. You'll learn how to make more soon enough if you use that one up. Oh, snap. Okay. Healing salve. Glowstone shard. And like this. All right. Right click. Okay. Is there any rolling or anything? Oh, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a quick. Sp okay. Okay. Oh, oh, if you, if you just sit there, it's a dodge. So you have a dodge though. All right. So, uh, we want us to chop a tree and collect lumber. Can I just chop it with a stick? Yes, you can. Okay, and it drops lumber. Wow. And you can break the stumps, too. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Maybe they grow back. We'll chop this one down, but we won't break the stump. Okay, there, okay so you can enter build mode. Hey, what's this? The treasure chest? I might not be able to do anything since it's doing a little tutorial. Ah, uh, bane berries! No, I can get bane berries. More bane berries! Any more bane berries hiding anywhere? So press C to enter build mode. Here's where you select from the structures that are available to build. Q and E. Okay, okay. Oh, I actually, and left shift and a oh, mouse button to rotate. Okay, curio crafting. Okay, this is a whole other thing. Oh, and mouse wheel will let you go to different stuff in it right there, but we want to build this. So that's why the shift modifier is on there for doing this. All right, so let's, and when I move it, it does not rotate, which I like that. 
So let's put you like right here right now. Oh, cutscene! So it crafted those up for us. Okay. Okay, cleansing cauldron built. Charms provide the magic necessary to produce curios and camp improvements. Interact with drakes to collect charms. Use inspect to see how many each drake has. Happy drakes will produce more charms, and the more drakes in your village, the larger pool you can collect. Nice work, kid. I knew you had it in you. Now for the most important part, using the cauldron. You're going to need to investigate this island a bit for a couple things. Juice boxes and bane berries. Get at least four of each, walk up the cauldron, and toss them in. Soon the berries and juice will be cleansed, and the drakes can chow down. Knowing they've got a, got a meal waiting should show them that you're not looking to do them harm. Oh, there's another one of these things we can break. Dude, will these have... I don't know if I want a juice box from a, from a toilet, though. I mean, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do now. Can we go in the water? No. I mean, technically we can. We don't want to go in the water, apparently. Okay, so let's grab this. The ambient sounds here are really like dreamlike too, like the reverb and delay that they're using. What's this? What's this? Skull cap. Okay. Okay, well, we'll check out this this place first. So again, control does a little zippy doo dah thing. Oh, oh, juice boxes. Okay, at least it didn't come from a toilet. Can we break these then? Oh, we can. Ah, okay. It looks like a, like an old blazer slash bronco. Uh, can we pick up the cattails? Yeah, we can. And they're actually they're not called they're not called uh, straw. There's a toilet over there. Okay. Okay. Shoelace. Okay, shoelace is the thing. Let's check out over here. Okay, that looks good. That's good. I, 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 oh, what is it? What are these? Yarrow. Okay. We don't get the root, though. We get the plants. Okay. All right. We have enough stuff. Let's go back. Where are, how far is our traveling? Actually, it's a decent amount of space, uh, versus like the map versus how far we've traveled. That's not too bad. There's some dangly lights over there. Different kinds of trees too. How's the visual? Resolution's not bad. It actually, it's a very clean looking game. Oh, there is something. There's like a shrine or something. An outhouse and a bird. Does this bird talk too? It's a trader. It's a magpie. Hello and welcome to the world of wonder. That is Magpie's Emporium. If you got shiny objects, exactly the sort of cultured aficionado that you uh, should be speaking with. I can tell from a quick look at you that you've also, you're also a person of a refined taste. We shall get along famously, I imagine. Please browse around, inspect the wares. I'm always looking to make a deal and expand my vast collection of rare and wonderful shiny objects. They like shinies too. This is like, what's up with this, man? Check in every day. New stock arrives every morning. Okay, so there is a day and night cycle here. So, can we trade trade now? We can so we can sell for shinies and we can buy cabbage seeds, carrot seeds, there's duct tape, balloon, circuitry, scrap metal, stone, lumber. So it looks like we have like generic base level mats and then we have specific ones too. All right, let's go over here. The cleansing cauldron transforms bane berries, blight shrooms, and juice boxes into food and water for the drakes. Oh, we got stuff happening! <laughs> Mepler found. Oh, it's a wood cutter, and it has a crit. Really? So there's stats involved with them too. And cap experience.
Okay. Okay, so we have food, water, and entertainment that they require. The amount stockpiled of it, okay. You're making more than you need. You're making less than you need. You're making exactly what you need. So, so we can, so we're actually going to be supplying them over the top. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, where are they going? Are they actually going out and gathering wood? What are they doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hold. Wait. Oh, he's gathering. Are they craft? Oh, they're making their own stuff. Oh, he's making water out of it. Is that what it is? Oh, there's... Is this my storage? Oh! Oh, okay. I'll put those in there for now and see what they do, if they do anything with them. So do they use the storage to, to automate their stuff? That's kind of cool. The Drakes weren't always like this. Their hearts are the same, but their minds aren't. Not since the Terminer came along and twisted the magic of this place to their will. With your help, we can restore the Drakes, even send you home once they get their magic back. Before we go off saving the world, we better finish tending to the Drakes' basic needs. The Drakes don't just need food and water. They're going to need a place to sleep. Also, these folks can literally die of boredom. You're proving to be pretty crafty. I think you can help them with their sleeping spots and entertainment. Once you try building the drakes, a couple thatched beds and poppets. You can get everything you need for the thatched beds from trees. As for poppets, look uh, look along the shorelines for cattails and beat up some cars for upholstery. Okay, so leave thatched beds and poppets around to prevent drakes from dying of boredom or exhaustion until you can build more permanent structures. Without a place to sleep, Drake will return to hibernation. Make sure there's always enough beds or you'll see population plummet. Okay. Okay, so we need we need at least get some leaf bundles and then go from there, I guess. Hey, buddy. We get charms from them. So we get the buff from them. All right, and we got the buff. Okay. So let's go ahead and build. Uh, we got to get some stuff here. We can get a poppet. All right. And we'll build the poppets once we get the material. We need leaf bundles now. Okay. Are they from different kinds of trees, maybe? Okay, that's all lumber again. Leaf bundle. Okay. I'm wondering if they're going to have different attack based, uh, different attack stuff based on your, um, like what weapon you've got. There's a log here. Okay, there's help messages. What? Oh, okay, so they have help messages here too. There's another one there. Okay, so we have four now. All right, let's head back. So they hang out around the crystal. So let's press C. There's some beds. Oops, I meant to do this and then hold shift and let's just put it, let's put them like for now, like right here. And give them two of them and then then we have the the poppets here i like how they how they do the things all right let's let's give them a poppet and we need some more charms for another poppet okay You have any more charms yet? We got more charms. And health is restored. Okay. So that means we can do... But don't generate any additional over time. Okay. Alright, so we got those done. And we're producing more food and water than what they need by the arrows in the upper right hand corner. Look at that. They grow up so fast. <laughs> So, as you may have realized, supplies on this island are a bit limited. They are, yes. So, about it, that situation, as you've maybe figured out, you're a little trapped on this island. If you're not, as you also most likely surmise, this isn't an unfixable situation. Like most problems in the hollow, you can build your way out of this one. 
Take the schematic. You can use it to unlock the ancient and arcane art of building. A curio workshop. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Try building one. You're going to have to if you ever want to get out of this place. Okay, I got schematics. Okay. So they want us to build a curio workshop. So we use the schematic to unlock that. Yes. All right, so now we have the Curio Workshop unlocked. Let's put it next to the cauldron. Okay. We have messages too. Builds an Aether Ward, okay. Okay, simple curio workshop. It's used for R&D of new curios, useful gadgets, and knickknacks. Once you've unlocked a recipe here, you can always make more anywhere from your build menu. So Aether word, Ward, a powerful ward that protects against the ill effects of Aether exposure. Healing salve, okay, so that uses Yarrow and the skull cap. There's waypoints. Uh, connect supply trucks to your camp to collect building materials using this handy device. Apparition charm. Call upon the ar arcane energies within you to cease being where you are and resume being back at camp. You keep an eye out for hibernating drakes along the wake and grab any schematics you may find. Come back and talk to me once you've explored around there a bit. Okay. Uh, now, how are we doing on our supplies here? All right. They're good on food for a while. All right, so now we need to use the Aether to get across here to the lighthouse. And we're looking for more of them. So let's let's get over here and we're going to hold Q. Uh, did that not work? Oh, oopsie. It has a time. Oh, it goes on me. Okay, okay, okay. I have a stick too, so I think we'll be all right. And I guess it's not going to hurt getting almost anything we can. Oh, I like how it sticks to me. Did you see that? Was that four or five different gatherables right now? Like basic ones off the ground. And then the trees. There's a several different kinds of trees. Uh, uh, different items we can get from said trees too. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, we got... Oh, it gives you little notifiers. Holy crap. That was a special move. Yeah, that was level two grunt. Oh, what is this? What is this? Is this a special thing? Oh, we're getting... I guess it gives it directly to us when we, when we loot it like that. Okay. Oh, is this one of those things? Those guys? It's a Drake. Wake up, Drake. <laughs> Some charms collected and health is restored at 2% damage avoidance. Nimble. Energy crystal quartz. Do you follow me around? Okay. There's some more skull cap over here. Okay, camp experience goes up as we collect them. Okay. So we got another one. And now we don't have enough food, water, or entertainment because we didn't put any beds down or anything like that. Okay. Okay, there's a glowy thing over there. Oh, oh there's one of these. Oh, this is the cloth one. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I guess we can go inside. Shoelaces. Okay, what is that? Big house, okay. Kind of looks like a Home Depot logo a little bit, but it's purple and it's a different name. So that's where the little bit comes from. All right, what's out here? Oh, crystal. Oh, can I? I had to break them, okay. Glowstone shards. Okay, we got four of them. Is that a blunderbuss? We've got a blunderbuss. Okay, hold right click to use it. Hold on there, buddy. Hold on. Don't you walk through that door. What was that? Oh, I thought so. Nope. That's what I thought. Nice. 
first before we go up there let's get all this stuff juice box man oh that one went somewhere that's floaty time Oh, I did get a sickle. <laughs> gaze into it. Let's gaze into it. Gazing. Yeah, I really do like the art style. Hibernating Drake's found. Press M to open map. So there's three more drakes here that we can find at the moment. Can we gaze again? Can we gaze again into the abyss? I mean, it's, I am magical with my magical weed whacker. Incoming raid? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh. Okay, is there fall damage? No. No, there's not. Okay, so we need a whole queue to go through here. Oh, they're oh, they're attacking my thing. Come here. Come here. Don't you attack my thing. Shoot. Oh, crap. Okay, that looks kind of cool. 